MMA Rants and Raves UFC Fight Night. Kenny Florian versus Takanori Gomi. You know what, guys? Let's look at this fight. Let me talk about Kenny Florian first. Uh, this is a guy, one of the most dominant fighters in the lightweight division right now. Probably one of the most dominant lightweights in the world. Uh, he's very talented as far as his Brazilian jiu-jitsu. I don't think anybody is as good. Maybe BJ Penn uh, is as good as on the ground as Kenny Florian. Most of his victories have actually come by submission. So he's very talented on the ground. Striking is very good. He's also pretty big for a lightweight. He's five foot ten. He has a very good reach. So this gives him an advantage in the striking game over most lightweights. He holds notable wins over the likes of uh, Clay Guida, uh, Huerta, he beat Joe Stevenson, and even BJ Penn, I saw that fight. He kept on pressing BJ Penn against the cage many times. I mean, this guy's a physically strong guy. He can push people around. And uh, before Penn got him into that rear naked choke, you know, it took time. And uh, it was a tough fight. Even the loss against Shirk, that went all five rounds. So this guy is a good fighter. He's very seasoned as a veteran. He knows the octagon very well. He's a pretty well-rounded fighter. So let's take a look at uh, Takanori Gomi. This guy is a, a strictly traditional Japanese, typical mixed martial artist. I mean, most of the mixed martial arts, well, martial arts itself, the birth of it, a lot of it comes from Japan. So, you know, this guy in his heyday, he was one of the most explosive lightweights out there. He came out of pride. A lot of the great fighters came out of pride. And they really defined with what, what was going to happen with MMA as becoming a mainstream sport. All these guys coming out of pride to some of the greatest fighters, you know, cooling the likes of Fedor and Nogueira and Krokop. So, you know, he's one of those guys that were just in the mix. They were fighting at the same time. He has got over 30 wins. He, he was a very good striker. Beginning of his career, he was like unstoppable. But you know, lately in his past few fights, he lost. He just dropped a couple of fights, and um, he's just. It just seems that he lost some of his striking ability as he used to have. It just he's not as dominant in the striking game as he used to be, and he used to depend a lot on that. And his wrestling is, is still is still okay, uh, but it it just seems that to me that Florian, if you compare it to Florian, is more on a momentum situation. I mean, especially that fight with Guida. Guida is not an easy guy to fight and uh, a difficult guy to submit. This is a very, very tough guy, especially on the ground, which is where he makes his living, taking guys to the ground. And, you know, he got him in a rear naked choke. So that's, a, that's an impressive win. The guy's very skilled in the octagon. Like I said, he's experienced, knows his way around. He's a very well-prepared fighter. Everybody says that about him, and it seems to be the case. I mean, all his fights are good fights, whether he wins or loses. Now, if you look at Gomi, he's coming from pride. You know, he comes from a ring, first time in the octagon. Here's another key situation. He's going to have to cut weight. The guy's at about, like, 165 now, so he's going to have to cut about 10 pounds. You know, <laughs> the rules over there are a little bit more lax with that. Uh, in the UFC, he's going to have to cut weight and make 155, so it may have an effect on his game. Uh, the way I see this going, I'm going to get right to the prediction. I, I just think that Gomi, his chance of winning is to use his wrestling and try to stay on top. Maybe a Florian. It's his only advantage because I just don't see him winning in the striking game. It just seems at the point in these two guys' careers that Florian is the guy that has uh, superior striking. His striking seems to be better uh, than Gomi's as far as the point in his career now. I mean, anything's possible. It will be interesting to see how he adjusts. But I'm going to throw up a prediction there. Uh, I think Florian could win this fight, may win this fight by early TKO. If not early TKO, he'll basically soften him up with striking and then maybe put the icing on the cake. When he weakens Gomi, he may go for a rear naked choke if he gets him to the ground or some other submission, either Kamora or Ambar or whatever. Uh, but anyway, that's the way I see this fight going. I'd like to know your comments about uh, Gomi, about Florian, and anything else going on within the lightweight division. Please leave your comments, rate this video, please subscribe, and thank you for tuning in.